<laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been here coming at you from beautiful Monterey Park, Los Angeles, California. Today I'm so pumped because I'm here with Reina Huang, uh, YouTube TikTok sensation. This girl can eat. You love spicy food. I do. Yeah, yeah how yeah. much do you know about Indian food? I actually don't know too much, but I know Indian people make really spicy food, so I'm really excited. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so they, they do make spicy food, you just have to ask for it, right? You have yeah, to say yeah. like, I want Indian spice, and they do it. It's a little yeah. different from like Korean, Chinese, mm -hmm. where you get really hot. Mm -hmm. Even Mexican, you get really 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 hot yeah not like this this you have to ask for that right yeah, yeah. and so we're here at Mahan Indian restaurant so this is like a northern Indian place so we're gonna do a lot of curries lots of bread and then obviously we're gonna eat biryani with our hands okay all right yeah sounds good you know what biryani is don't worry I'll introduce you to the king of dishes <laughs> let's go inside Indian restaurants is always like really well decorated yeah, yeah for sure I mean really what I like about this place is that they have all the colorful stuff mm -hmm. you see all these yeah. So this is like, uh, you know, basically showing you the Mughal times. That's when the Mughal Empire. Oh, okay. In case you guys don't know, North India was Mughals. So that's the Mughal Empire, right? So this is basically what it looked like back then, right? Mm -hmm. Very colorful, spread out, nice tables. You got booths, you have tables. Are you ready for the kitchen? Let's right, go. Let's go. In the kitchen. Love this place. Oh, hello, so hello. Oh, what is that? Right there, that's like a... It's like a veg pakora, right? Yeah, it's like onion, onion pakora. Onion pakora, onion pakora. So that's like a fried onion, right? Oh, okay, that's cool. It smells really good. Oh, it's so fragrant here. And you know, you're gonna see, this is where the nut is made, right? So that's the tandoor. That is the clay oven. That is where all the amazing breads are made. All right, guys, dude, I had to try this. It just smells so good. Mm. You've like fried onions, man. This is like, mm. Oh my god. Is it really hot? I'm gonna have a little bite. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. It's good. So it's almost like an onion bloom. There's some of what you need the chutney for this. It has, it's a little tangy. It's got some Indian spice in it. <laughs> tastes a little curry. Is that what it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Basically, a curry is like a mix of spices, masalas, right? With yeah. cream. So they marinate it with that, they throw it in the fryer, and that's it. I'm gonna make it like uh, basically heavy. That one is a good story. Yeah, so all this food being cooked right now, it smells so good. This is a vegetable biryani. So what's funny is that people have told me that there's no such thing as a vegetable biryani. That's really cool out. But I don't know. I don't know if that's true. It smells great, huh? Dude, it smells so good. Oh my god. Even when he was just taking the plain rice out of the rice cooker, I was just like, whoa, the smell of that rice. Oh, I'm so hungry. This is good curry. Oh, good curry. Oh, that's so good. A lot of people I heard don't like lamb because of that gamey taste, but I don't know. I'm so, I love that taste. It's just so unique and sets it aside from other different types of meat. So really excited for this goat curry. Yeah, so me personally, I love goat and lamb. Those are my favorite meats. I mean, it's just they're nice and tender, less fat compared to like beef, right? I didn't eat yet today. I'm so no. Hungry. I'm just ooh salivating here. <laughs> So what's funny is I already had breakfast and lunch. This is my dinner right now. Oh yes, it's gonna be good. But this is gonna hit the spot, you know, because North Indian food, it always hits the spot. It's nice and creamy, good bread, fills you up. Nice, nice. Yeah, at the end you feel like, whoop! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy, too much, too much. And that's right there, the base for the chicken tikka sauce. Gracias, gracias a todos. 
Gracias, hermano. Gracias. Thank I you. appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, let's go. Oh, this food's gonna be so good. Nice and creamy. Thanks, guys. Thank you. It's gonna be epic. Are you ready for this? I'm so excited to eat. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys, we are ready to go. We have three, six, seven different things. Plus, we're gonna try some cure at the very end, which is like rice pudding. Oh, yeah, cool. It's gonna nice. be good. Sounds so, good. how much do you know about uh, North Indian food? <laughs> I didn't know there was like a difference. Like I, I just know Indian food. I just don't know, know the food. difference and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a very big difference. North, you're gonna have a lot more curries, a lot more cream, mm -hmm. a lot more bread. South, you're gonna have a lot more rice dishes. I mean, that's the biggest difference, the contrast, right? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. So here we basically have a few of the staples rice. So like sag paneer, which is like a mixed green mm -hmm. with cheese. Over here we have chicken tikka masala, the national dish of Great Britain. Which is crazy. Oh. That's the national dish of Great Britain. Interesting. Insane, right? Yeah. And then here we have a goat curry. We have a biryani. We have some garlic naan. Over here we have onion pakora, so basically like an onion fritter, almost like an onion bloom, right? Mm -hmm. And you pair that with some chutneys. And then this is dal tarka, so it's yellow dal. I think we should start off with maybe the basics, right? Okay. So I'm gonna serve you a little bit of this paneer. Okay. So side paneer. And then I'm gonna serve you chicken tikka masala. So you, when's the last time you had Indian food? Wow, right? Uh, almost a month ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this is super creamy. So for this, you need some okay. garlic naan. Ready? Well, this is how you should do it. Okay. Like that? Uh-huh. So put it down, one hand. Oh, like this? Yeah, I mean, you should use your right. Are you right oh, or your lefty? I'm right. Okay. All right, perfect. So like that, you go mm -hmm. in, you get a nice scoop. Right? Let's see, this is super creamy. We asked for spicy today, right? Uh -huh. We did ask for spicy. Yeah. Because you're a spicy addict? I do, I do like spicy. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Mm hmm. Not so spicy. Oh. Very mild, this one. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I think because it's creamy, it balances out the spice. So yeah, yeah. it doesn't feel too spicy. Yeah, but they can definitely make it spicy. Yeah, you know? yeah. But that's just adding more spices. And um, just so you know, like chicken tikka masala, mm -hmm. usually this is called, this is uh, breast meat, mm -hmm. and then butter chicken, which is something we have more common here in America, that's more uh, thigh. So mm. it's like a dark meat, right? Mmm. Mm. Nothing like this bread, huh? Oh yeah, the bread with the sauce, it's so good. It's so good. Mmm. It's like for this, you just get more, right? Like straight up, just cream everywhere. Oh, thank you. Right there, boom. I think I need more too. Just can't stop with the curries. You know, we just had South Indian food about mm -hmm. two hours ago at a Carolee's restaurant, mm -hmm. and it's so different. I mean, this like, it's way less cream. Mm -hmm. You have a lot more dried masalas, oh. which is basically the same thing, but without the cream, almost like a stir fry, right? So I'm just, this is really good. <laughs> I know, I know, you're just enjoying it, right? <laughs> so fast. Let me try some of this too. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Spinach artichoke dip. So I always say this, you know, the sag it is almost like a spinach dip, right? Just go in, forgive me for using my left hand today. <laughs> is that like disrespectful to the culture? Mm. Use your left hand for something else. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very interesting, like learning about the cultures when eating different types of food, you know? Because mm -hmm. I didn't know you were supposed to eat this with your hand. Well, no? No. Wow. That's delicious cheese. So that's paneer. Okay. Okay, so it's very similar to like ricotta. All right. Think of it like that, right? But this is like cubed. It tastes like tofu. Mm. Similar. Yeah. But obviously, this is cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is. All over India, most like veg dishes, not most, but like a lot of them, mm -hmm. they'll have the paneer. Mm -hmm. So instead of chicken, lamb, uh, what else, goat, they'll substitute it for the paneer. So even that, the chicken tikka masala, you can have paneer makhni. You know, basically oh. the same thing, same cream, but instead of that protein, you get the cheese. Mm -hmm. That's for veg people. I think it's like 26, 29% of India is vegetarian. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What do you want next? <laughs> And anything, right? Anything. anything. Well, let me give you some more of this. Oh, here, okay, here. Okay, okay. Yeah, just take it, tear okay. it apart. And then you just grab a scoop full here. Mm hmm. Mm. No, that's so good. Is that it will hit the spot at the end, you know? Mm hmm. 
And sometimes you can just mix in, like, you know. Just everything mixing. Once it's on the plate, it starts mixing. Yeah. Mm hmm. Even though it is the most popular dish, like in North America, Western Hemisphere, and every, every Indian restaurant, mm -hmm. it's so freaking delicious. I can never get sick of it. No, you can't. No. You can't. Look at you, just like cleaning that plate. It's so good. <laughs> I'm not joking, I, I love Indian food and every time I get it, and then do you know I do food challenges, right? And I actually don't do many Indian food challenges at all. So it's one of those like types of food that I'm not sick of because I haven't had an excess of it. So every time I have it, oh my God, it's such a delight. You know, I keep it like that so I can still enjoy Indian food every time. Mm. So oh, we just cool. got two different chutneys. So right here we have like a mint chutney, right? Mm -hmm. Is that like a sauce? Yeah, so it's, it's a sauce. I mean, they don't say sauce in India. They call it chutney. Okay. This That's what it's called, right? And um, this is for this, right? So we have basically an onion pakora, onion fritter, and you go in and you dip. Yeah, so like that, like, like just, you know? Oh, okay. Soak it up. Well, my thing, it needs to get in there. It has to be like drenched, right? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mmm. Nice, crispy. Mm -hmm. mm, love the onion. Mm hmm. I'm gonna dunk it in here now. And this is mint, mint cilantro. Okay. Basically. These are the two standard ones. Ooh. Oh, it's tangy. Tangy. Not spicy, it's a little tangy. Mm hmm. It's enjoyable though, right? Yeah. It's just sour, caught me by surprise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's completely different contrast mm -hmm. right here. Yeah, really so, different. And if you wanted to, you can like, do, 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 mm -hmm. and just that's it, you know? Look how beautiful this is, right? Mmm. I think next up we have to go for the goat curry. Oh my god, yes. I know, right? <laughs> goat, oh, so that good. Look at so that. Good. Beautiful. Wow, nice and chunky. And the gravy's a little different, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's tomatoes in here as well. There's some cilantro and look at the bone. Ooh. Right there, right? Yeah, but with goat, you're always gonna get bones. The bones give the broth more flavor, too. Oh, for yeah. sure. I mean, it gives the meat flavor. It does Everything. It. So, what's your favorite cuisine? I have to ask that question. I have Chinese. Chinese? Yeah. Okay, what's mine? Indian. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm originally, my parents are from Venezuela. My mother's Italian, father's Hungarian. Mm -hmm. I love Mediterranean food. Mm -hmm. But once I just dove into the Asian cuisine, especially, specifically India, the spices, you know, the spices mm -hmm. just got to me. It's like, yeah. I, I need a little bit of spice mm -hmm. in everything. So just add a little bit of spices, you know, mix it up. I, of course, I love Chinese, like Szechuan hot pot, my favorite. Oh, I like, love hot pot. Outside oh, of this, gosh. that, what else? Uh, Thai cuisine with Thai like good, yes. fish chili and Korean food like tteokbokki with like spicy. Oh, oh my god, Thai, I love you. You're I such know. a foodie. I love it. Oh, it's I mean, great. come on. And it's, so where are you from originally? I'm from China. You're from China? Well, I'm born here, but I'm Chinese. Okay, yeah. which part of China? Uh, Fujian. Fujian. I don't know Wuchen. Um, it's well, my family's from like uh, an area that's really close to Taiwan. So I okay. have uh, my the type of food I really like is very similar to Taiwanese food. Scoop it up. Mm-hmm. Scoop a big chunk. Yeah, I mean, just get a big chunk. And this one, you could tell the gravy is different, right? Yeah, it soaks it up a it's, lot more. It soaks it up. And it's way less creamy. I guess to my waistline. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Nice and gamey. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is amazing meat. Mmm. It's so good. So good. Mmm. And the gravy. It's rich. A little tomatoey. Obviously, there's tomatoes in there. Mmm. Wow. A little spicy, right? Tiny bit. I'm not spicy. No, you're not getting it? I'm getting like pepper. I'm getting a lot of pepper. Yeah, pepper. And just like dunk it like this. Soak it up. I mean, without the bread, it's not complete. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Mmm. A good curry. So India is the land of dal, which is basically lentils, right? They have so many different ones. This one is like the standard one, uh, dal tarka, right? Mm -hmm. So it's yellow, uh, yellow lentils. This tomato, this cilantro, there's a lot of the main ingredients, right? And then what you should do, maybe we should put, pair it with some rice, okay. right? A little bit of rice on the side. Ooh, what is that little brown stuff? Uh, I think, is that a cumin seed? Cumin? I, I think. Okay. Don't don't quote me on that. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to misrepresent it, but yeah, so just mix it in, right? Mm -hmm. so this we're doing a little differently because we ran our bread, but it's all good. Just mix it in. Let's try this. It's going to be tasty. 
Look at this girl going for the big bites. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm. It's light, right? Mm. It's so homey. Mm -hmm. And this one's spicy. Yep. I like it. This one is spicy. Mm. Mm, this one's like hitting the spot. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I like mm. it. Not so bad, right? No, no, no. And the cilantro's in there. It's mm -hmm. really fragrant. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, usually most of the stuff is fragrant, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Going for it seconds. So oh. Mm. I'll go for another bite, too. It's so nice. Mmm. I actually like that spicy because it's like, it's light, it's refreshing, lots of fragrance, but then you hit that kick. Mm -hmm. And that's at the very end. I, like, I literally I feel it in the bottom of my esophagus, right? Like, yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, it feels good. So you're all into the spice, right? I love spicy. Yeah, yeah so yeah. what's like the best spicy thing you, you eat? Like your favorite? Um, you already mentioned some of them. The spicy Chinese hot pot. Okay. Chichon hot pot. And then dappoki. You know? Dappoki. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I, I, the reason why I love the hot pot mm -hmm. is because it can get crazy spice. Okay, so next up we have the veg biryani. So this is the king of dishes. And every city does it differently. This one's more like a stir fry, right? Mm -hmm. So he did it on the pan. Usually they'll do it like in these massive vats, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the biggest difference. And then yeah, so I don't even know. So we have the, like carrots, we have peas, we have a mix of cilantro, what else is in here? Bell peppers. Bell peppers as well, carrots, right? Yeah. Sometimes they put paneer. And oh, so they have like some edamames too, right? Oh yeah, edamames that's nice. and peas. All right, so how does this work? Well, my friend. I would just grab it. Just grab it like that. Oh, okay, okay, so you use like the five fingers, right? Okay. So they call it the five elements. You go in here uh -huh. and you move it together, right? Okay. So right now we're just gonna go in and break up. Usually when there's meat, you break it in pieces, but as you can see, the big carrots. Mm -hmm. So you break those up. Oh, these even cauliflower. These yeah, even cauliflower. Yeah. yeah, it's straight veg, right? Yeah. This is a, basically the purest veg form you can get. So mm -hmm. it's mixed rice dish with vegetables. So we go like that, okay. get in the bottom, okay. right? And then with this finger, you're gonna push into your mouth like this, right? Close enough. <laughs> How's it taste go? Good? It's good, it's good. Yeah. So this one is definitely like on the excess of a uh, veg, right? But yeah. obviously it's a veg biryani. So you're gonna get a lot of vegetables in here. So many different ones that I haven't seen before, like especially the edamames. I haven't seen that in a veg biryani before. Mm. Oh, this is good. Mm, it's good, right? This. It was so good. So good. Lastly, I have to introduce you to Raita. So Raita always goes with the biryani. So basically this is a yogurt drink. This is the, uh, not a yogurt drink, a yogurt, I guess saucy put on the side, right? Okay. So let me fill you up with some more biryani. So the reason for this is because it cools it down and it makes it more, I guess, like it glues the rice together. Okay. So some people put it straight on, like I'm doing right there. And then other people put on the side, but like it depends on the style, right? And okay, you just go just in, mix it in. just mix it in. Oh yeah, cold, cold, cold right? Yeah. Nice and cold. At the same time, it makes it very creamy, mm -hmm. and it pastes it together, right? So you, you do this, like that. Mm. Look at the ball. You do. like the ball comes out even better. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, wow. Way better, right? It's not like way better. It's like it's totally different. It's totally different. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. It's, it's totally like a change of taste. Wow. Yeah. If you want the purest form, you go without the raita. Mm -hmm. You know, in Malabar Coast Karata style, they'll just add that right on top, and you keep eating, right? Mmm. Mmm. And and this is really done in South India, where they eat with hands. They get like a banana leaf, fill it up with like 20 different things, including the biryani. It's broken. I mean, you're going Dude, down. It is so I love good. it. I love it. I know. No, it's great. I mean, especially licking fingers. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, I'm gonna get more. Get more. Eat as much as you want. Oh my god. I'll help you. I'll help you. So I think I made an Indian food fan out of you, right? I've, I've always been an Indian oh, food yeah? fan. Yeah, yeah. I just um, I'm not too familiar with them um, Indian food. There was this one time I went to a Indian place on my own. Mm -hmm. And then I think I ordered something wrong and I really didn't like it and I was I just felt so bad because I ordered like three things And then I really like the other two and I, I forgot what I ordered, but it just okay. didn't taste that good so. Well, I'm gonna do something really cool for you. Okay, so We are gonna mix mix everything. Yes yeah, so I'm gonna give down. you a little bit of this one because you can do this right mm -hmm. so at the end You know you already ate it one way 
Now you can add that if you want. Cool. And you know what? I'm gonna add that too because that is the best, the best creamy uh, curry of all time right there, right? Mm. Oh, oh, I know, I know. We're on top. I mean, chicken tiki masala is definitely. I mean, oh. it's the highlight, right? Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you right now, mm -hmm. I think the goat curry was my favorite, but this is gonna be amazing right here. It just, it changes everything. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. It's just so much creamier. Mmm, so much creamier. Nice mm. tomato, you know? It's almost like a tomato paste, but also watered down because of cream. Mmm. Dude, you're an expert. Yeah. I'm sure you weren't Indian in your last life. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Whatever you want to put in there. It's my spinach artichoke dip. Mm. I actually really like that. Yeah, right? Yeah. See, you're allowed oh. to do that. You're allowed to like mix things if you want to. That's the great thing about Indian cuisine. Like some people are like, you're not supposed to do this, you're not supposed to do that. I'm like, dude, if you eat it, people are happy. You know? That's how I feel like when you're like when different people like try different cultures of food, you should just like be happy, you know, they're like accepting of different flavors. Cause some people like are like if they're not used to the flavor, they're kinda like turned off by it. Exactly. Yeah, but I think everybody should try it one at least once. Everybody should. Are oh, you gonna put some dough there? I'm just trying everything because I, I wanna try mixing everything to see how everything tastes like together. Oh my god, that is so good. And it does make it more spicy. Definitely has more of a kick. Yeah, right, because the doll? Mm-hmm. Those are fans? Yeah. It's amazing. Awesome. Hey, how you guys doing? Good. You ready? No, it's ready. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, two three. three. Yeah, okay. I can't think. Oh Fans, huh? Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. So the last thing we got here is Kier. So what is Kier? What do you think? It looks like a yogurt milk rice pudding. Well, basically it's rice pudding, right? Okay. So it's almost like a, a arroz con leche, I would say. Okay. So as you can see, like tiny grains of rice. Okay. This one actually looks a little more thick than the usual ones. Usually it's like more watered down. Mm -hmm. So let's just try this. Okay. Beautiful. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it's wow. sweet. Mmm. It is so, so creamy. So, so creamy. Milky. Exactly. Oh my god. It's almost like a like an ice cream. A, a vanilla ice cream has melted. <laughs> right? It tastes like baby, baby powder. Yeah, yeah, like like right? a, like compota. Hey, how do you say compota? Yeah, yeah, for kids, like baby like, food. Yeah, yeah, because um, I don't know that milk mm. powder mm -hmm. formula thing. That's what it tastes like because it's so milky. Mm-hmm. Mm. So decadent. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my oh. god, it's so addicting. It's it's actually ridiculous. Mmm. And the reason they have this at the end, obviously, is to cleanse the palate, cool it down from all the heat. That's the difference, like, compared to, I don't know, if you go to Asia, most of them is like jellies, right? Mm -hmm. Especially China and stuff, it's like all about the beans and the jellies. Mm -hmm. This is more, obviously, dairy side. I think mm -hmm. it's because um, their um, Indian food is more heavy, mm -hmm. more, more like spicy. More spicy, so they have to yeah. cool it down. Yeah. Randy can't stop, right? Cannot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is actually my last few bites in Los Angeles, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna enjoy it. Dude, I'm you like just killed it. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. <gasps> oh, I feel good. And that's it, my friends. That is Mahan Indian cuisine here in Monterey Park with Reina Huang. Yeah. Huang. Thank Correct, you. right? Yes. yes. <laughs> wow, incredible. What'd you think? It was so good. So oh good. What was your favorite? I think the biryani, because you ate everything. <laughs> she like finished the whole dish. Oh, it's because um, I'm always just like, my family is like, Raina, no leftovers, you exactly. know? That's why I eat everything. Exactly. But everything was amazing, and yes, I really like the biryani, and then as far as like the kind of like main dishes went, um, I love the go curry. The go curry, the yeah. Go curry. For me too, the go curry, the biryani, and then obviously the kheer. The kheer is, is... Yeah, this is really good. I mean, you can have the rest if you want. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well guys, okay. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, her channel, and we'll see you in the next child food adventure somewhere in California. I'm gonna eat some more curries. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna turn into a balloon here. <laughs> <laughs> done, done, don't worry.